one time he wanted to receive God's blessings and then he told a lie to his father. To his father. So what is the result? He did not receive God's blessings. And then his brother planned to kill Jacob. So he ran away. He ran away. Sometimes we we believe in uh, God and we believe the words of God. But sometimes we misunderstand the word of God and then we select our way, not God's way. How about Moses? Look at the Bible. Look at the Bible. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 24 to 26 Hebrew chapter 11 verse 24 to 26 Dahil sa pananalig sa Diyos tumanggi si Moises nang siya ay may sapat na gulang na natawaging anak ng prinsesa ng anak ng paraon Inibig pa niyang makihati sa kaapihang dinaranas ng bayan ng Diyos kaysa magtamasa ng panandaliang aliw na dulot ng kasalanan. Itinurin niyang higit na mahalaga ang pagbabata ng kadustaan dahil sa misayas kaysa mga kayamanan ng Ehipto sapagkat napako ang kanyang paningin sa mga gantimpala sa hinaharap. Amen. According to historical material, at the time he was around 40 years old. He was very strong. And then he gave up all things. Okay, from now on, I will work for God. I will work for Israel people. But what is the result? His, his plan was very good and then he gave up all things as a prince. And then he selected God's way. But he failed. He killed one Egyptian and then he ran away also. Why? He gave up all things and then he decided to follow God, but the result was not good. Why? And then also the twelve disciples, they followed Jesus Christ almost three years. And then the Peter confessed in front of Jesus Christ, Lord, even if I am dying, I mean, until I die, I will follow you. I will die together with you. He, he told to Jesus Christ like that. But when he, Jesus Christ was arrested, what happened? He denied three times. If we read the Bible carefully, he denied first. And the second, he... Uh, Cursed Jesus Christ. I don't know him. And then he cursed Jesus Christ and denied. Completely denied. And then all disciples ran away. Why? They learned from Jesus Christ directly. But they ran away. And then how about the Apostle Paul? He knew the word of God very well. At that time, he was the, one of the most intelligent person. The first Paul, he knew the word of God very well, and then he was the, uh, one of the uh, intelligent, uh, most intelligent person. But even if he read the Bible, he did not know Jesus Christ, and then he persecuted the Christians. And then he agreed to kill all Christians. Hmm? Why? He knew the word of God. So we must know, even if we know the word of God very well, we can mistake. We can make mistakes also. Then how can we have victory in our lives? In our lives. First Jacob, he ran away. But when he, uh, on the way, he had a dream and then he realized.
realize God is everywhere. Everywhere she goes. Anyway, God is there also. Before she thought, God is in my house together with our parents. But when he uh, ran away, he found God is there also. Wherever we go, God is there. Wherever you go, God will be with you always. Amen, Mama. Amen. You are not alone. You are not alone. So from that time, his life was changed. From that time, he did not tell a lie. And then he stayed in, the, uh, in his uncle's house. Almost 20 years. He, his uncle told a lie. His uncle did not keep his promise to Jacob. But he did not complain. And then always he walked there. And then God blessed Jacob. And then how about Moses? Before he thought, he went out. There was a lot of Israel people. They were slaves. Ah. They are very strong, so I can fight uh, against Egyptians. And then he was very strong. And then he was very wise. He was uh, very educated. So I will work for God with my own wisdom, with my own power, with Israel people. Not together with God. Not together with God. So he failed. But later, when he was eight years old, God called him. And then he realized he cannot do anything alone. Lord, I cannot do anything. So I cannot go to Egypt. If we read the Exodus, Exodus, he did not do anything with his wisdom. Always he obeyed to the word of God. It's all. So if we want to have a victory in our lives, at first we must obey the word of God. Amen. Sometimes if we want, we accept, okay, I follow the word of God. But sometimes I is it to be stupid. I will go. We, uh, I will use my wisdom and then I will go my way. So it is our lives. And then how about the twelve disciples? They ran away. But later, they met the resurrected Jesus Christ. So all of them, they came together and then they prayed. At that time, God called the Holy Spirit. And then from that time, they were not afraid. They did not run away anymore. And then they, they testified the word of God. And then they shouted. Even if they are persecuted, he, they shouted the word of God. Because they met the resurrected Jesus Christ. They renewed their mind. Already we have the word of God in our brain. We know the word of God. But still, sometimes we are weak spiritually. We are afraid of our futures. We are afraid of our problems. We think, we are very upset. Who can help me? God told us, I will be with you always. But sometimes we think, I am alone. I am alone. So we must renew our mind. We must renew. We are not alone. God will be with you always. Amen. 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 So we can start again. We can do all things again. We must rely on God and then God will help us and then God will be our power. Amen. Even if I am not intelligent, even if I am not rich, 
Even if I have no helper, Henry God will be with us. So we can have victories in our lives. How about the Apostle Paul? He knew the word of God very well, but before he did not know Jesus Christ. But he reminds his mind after he met Jesus Christ. And then from that time, he shouted the gospel and then he became a great servant of God. So what do you need? What kind of preparations to be a servant of God? Nothing. Because always God gave all things to us already. Amen. If we renew our mind according to the word of God, and then if we do all things with the power of God, then we can do all things, and then we can have a victory with the power of God. Amen, Baba. Amen. So what is your problem? I, I have a problem in Philippines. Our family will uh, have many problems like this, like this, like this. And then how about my future? How about this one, this one, this one? What is your problem? What are you afraid? Don't be afraid of anything because you are not alone and then God is waiting for you. Amen. Our power is the word of God. So we can have a victory in our lives. Look at the Bible again. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Before we did all things according to the culture of the world. And then the culture of the world affected in our lives. But the, what God is saying to us, do not compromise any longer to the, with the world. We have citizenship of the heavenly kingdom. Amen. And then, but be transformed. We must be changed by the renewing of our mind. Only we need one thing. Renew our mind. Before we learn only with uh, as a knowledge, but we must know the word of what is not only a knowledge, it is a power. We must activate the word of God in our mind. If the word of God is active in our mind, then we can have a victory in our lives. Sometimes we think, I oh, we need a uh, good, good friend or good helper or good pastor or anybody. But the most important thing is we must renew our mind. Amen. And then we are already a child of God. Amen. We are new creation. Before Adam and Eve were in Eden Garden, but they disobeyed the word of God and then they followed the Satan's temptations. So already polluted and then corrupt. But now we think, ah, if Jesus Christ come back, then we will be renewed and then we will go to heavenly kingdom. Always we think for the, the heavenly kingdom. But if we accept the word of God, already God, uh, God will forgive all of our sins, then we will be a new creation. Amen. New creation. From now on, in this time already, we are created newly. So we must renew our mind and we must uh, activate the word of God in our mind then we can have a victory in our lives. So, the Bible said, 